Hello friends, this is me, Hosanna David. Uh, there is this message that the Lord gave me on the 7th of August 2017 and I've not been able to do a video and pass the message across to people. This is a message that people really need. People are talking about uh, August 20, 21, August 21 and uh, September 21 and 23, 2017. And because of the happenings around these dates, people are propagating doctrines that are not biblical. But I took my time to really pray about these things. And when I prayed, God revealed these things to me. And I want to share with you what the Lord told me. First of all, I want to share with us what God told me about astrology and humans leaving this planet to other planets to study heavenly bodies study the stars study other planets up there there are things that the lord revealed to me and i want us to pay very good attention i've prayed about this thing and god told me i should pass this message to the world especially to the church of christ to the body of christ all over the world number one it was it was the early hours about 5 a.m on the 7th of august 2017 that the lord spoke these words to me while i was on my bed and he told me to put them down and tell his children tell the church and also warn the church about the implication of what they are doing in the name of biblical prophecy and the fulfillment of revelation 12 God said I should warn his church, warn his children about the way they go about this Revelation 12 sign. And they are diving, especially by the diving into demonic activities, astrology, in the name of searching out biblical prophecies and your fulfillment. This is what God revealed to me. And just listen. God bless you as you listen. My servant, Tell my people that their disobedience has led to more disobedience. Yet, they have refused to return to me. Even my very children are led astray by the morning deceits. Tell them to come back to me. I have rightly warned them, but they will not hear my voice. Demons, by permission, occupy the solar environment and other planets. They are the spiritual wickedness in high places mentioned in Ephesians 6.12. Because of the search for knowledge, humans have pierced their feet with many sorrows. Let them come back and I will heal them. At this particular time, I fell into a vision and God revealed to me somebody who traveled to space. He entered the space and tried to assess a gate but there was a demon standing preventing him from gaining access into the place he was trying to go he was a gatekeeper that was the name he was called in the vision and as he tried to enter he was prevented from entering but there was a communication between both of them and there was a bargain between both of them and i saw the man i didn't hear everything that we were discussing but i saw the man pulled out the ring he was wearing and he gave it to the demon and the demon took it from him i didn't actually know the finger with which whether from right or from left and the particular finger he pulled the ring from that i knew he pulled the ring from his and i gave it to the demon and the demon accepted it and uh, took him in just outside the gate back of the gate there was another demon there he didn't actually look like a demon uh, facially more or less like a man like a human being and that man was to take him to where he was going and this is a conversation that took place between both of them um, the bargain I, I wrote this thing down the demon who kept the gate spoke to him after their bargain the seeker of knowledge pulled out the ring he was wearing and handed it over to the gatekeeper an agreement was then signed. Though I didn't hear what they discussed, 
I understood the part of it. His thoughts and minds were plagued so that he could accept lies easily so that he could deceive and mislead humanity when he returns back to planet, this planet, the planet Earth. He was then handed over to another demon. The demon said to him, This place is not meant for flesh and blood. Therefore, you must abide by the terms of the agreement you have signed. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Woe to man, just as a dog is not trained to bite its owner, so all the satellites and all those who use them to observe heavenly bodies and times and seasons have been programmed to fulfill the will of the starry host of darkness. This is very, very important. I need to explain this because it is very, very important. God told me that just the way a dog is trained by the owner, not to bite the owner, but to fight an intruder, a criminal. That is how even the satellites, the gadgets they put in place in space, and even the humans that use them to study the times and the seasons and the heavenly bodies, the stars, I mean, astrology, the equipment they use in astrology, that they have been programmed by the power in the air, the power in the atmosphere, so that they could determine what they should see and make sure the past lies to humanity. So we are being deceived. What God is saying is that even these instruments are subjects, these gadgets are subject to demonic manipulations and they are being manipulated against us. If you can remember today with the issue of UFO, unidentified flying objects, is no longer a news. It is real. It is real. But these are demons. They are not human beings. They are demonic, demonic agents. They are fallen angels. They want to deceive us. And, you know, these same people who go up, who go to the space and study the, the planets and the stars and the moon and the sun and other planets, these people tell us lies. They believe that UFOs are real, that they are uh, beings from other planets that they don't understand that they will finally evade humans one day and that we should come together and prepare these are demonic lives why won't they be manipulated when they are disobeying god why won't they be used to lead man astray when these gadgets do not carry the fire of the holy ghost and the spirit of god spoke to me and said my son step up your faith and live by faith not by sight for the whole earth and all that dwell in it are the lords this is the same message i want to tell, pass to you today that we should never be troubled jesus said we should never be troubled these signs are never to make us become afraid we should believe in god and watch for the coming of jesus christ we are never to be moved by what we see by what we hear by the rumors of the war by the news of the and the tension about the world war three we should never never be moved because these are the very signs of the end of age thank you god bless you i want you to visit our website www.egoayopna.com if you have any question you can use the email on your screen email us and we will respond to you thank you and god bless you don't forget to subscribe because there are many messages that are coming i have another youtube channel which i want you to subscribe to there to post things specifically about sexual purity godly sexuality the the channel name the youtube channel name is biblical sexual purity we have a facebook page make sure you like it subscribe and follow us thank you god bless you Bye-bye.